Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to North Academy News. I'm your host, Julia James. And I'm your host, Kendall Hughes. Today is Friday, March 22nd, and it's also National Spray Tan Day. I'm definitely going to need one of those before prom. Yeah, you definitely could use one. But thankfully, you have time. Prom tickets go on sale Monday, and you can buy them between the 25th and the 29th for $45. But if you wait to get them to the 8th to 19th, they will increase to $50. Tickets cannot be purchased at the door. Make sure you order your yearbook if you have not already. They are $85 and you can get them at www.yearbookforever.com or reach out to any yearbook member. Juliet, I am super excited for graduation. Me too, Kendall. And speaking of super, we have a very special video for you with Jackson and Mr. Puckett talking about their opinions on the Marvel and DC Universe. Hello everyone and welcome to the Cougar Den. This is our new debate segment, inspired by the Northview Academy Library. This week, they've been debating Marvel versus DC. So today, me and Jackson are here to see if we're brave enough to step into the cougar den and join that debate. I don't know so, if I am. I think you are. I believe in you. So I believe that DC is the most important comic book franchise. Uh, what do you believe, Jackson? I believe the right opinion, which is Marvel is the better comic book franchise. So, Oh, well, I guess I'll make my sound argument. Okay. I think it's a better comic book and movie franchise. I think a lot of the Marvel characters are more recognizable than the uh, DC characters. And, I mean, it just has also some of the better characters. None of them are, like, failing in, like, the aspects of, like, superpowers. When you have characters like Green Lantern who are leaked to the color yellow, you don't really have that to um, in uh, Marvel. Also, the movies are just on a better, longer run and like have had some pretty banger movies. So I think Marvel overall is a pretty better franchise. That's an astute argument there, Jackson. It's too bad that it's incorrect. See, you may have a lot of superheroes on your side, but there's one superhero that is faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to leap tall buildings with a single hurdle, and that is Superman. And that is, we also have Batman, too. And DC was the first of the comic book franchises to really step out there and, and hit into the mainstream. They were the first one to have major uh, blockbuster hits uh, with Superman in 1978 and then the Batman movies in the late 1980s. Uh, and so I believe that, yes, Marvel's had a great run, but DC, when you're talking about cultural impact, I believe that DC has had the better run. Well, despite that you're wrong, I feel like I can't really argue too much there. I That's what happens when uh, an argument's correct. And, uh, and so you've seen one winner. Uh, in the Cougar Den? No. Uh, this has been, uh, no. uh, yes, it has. And uh, This is not. I'm this is Mr. Puckett, and I'm the winner of this I'm debate. I'm Nope, and I'm Jackson. I'm also the winner of this debate because he's not. Hmm. I guess they'll have to decide then. Well, I know Marvel is definitely my favorite, but in other news, the Sevierville Rotary Club will award a $1,000 scholarship to one of our seniors. The application is attached in the 2024 Google Classroom and is due in the guidance office on March 29th. And club news, if you have not turned in your beta deposit, you need to turn that in ASAP. Also, make sure you're saving all of your can tabs for Key Club and turn them into the labeled bins. The FFA State Convention is starting on the 24th in Gatlinburg and our own Emily Stent will be there. And our dance team will be having trials for all 8th through 11th graders starting Monday. So if you're interested, show up and earn your spot on the team. Make sure you turn in all of your great pictures for the senior videos. Send them to CoreyPuckettSevere.org. And I think that's all of our announcements for today. So let's move right on to sports. We have a home baseball and softball game tonight. Boys are at 530 and JV is at 730 and girls are at 6. Tomorrow, there's also a Way District game for soccer against Seymour that starts at 6.30. And we have our trivia question today, but this doesn't quite feel right. Yeah, I know. One sec. Okay, this is much better. The first person to email Corey Puckett at severe.org will win a voucher for a free chicken biscuit. The question is, what is the date of the first ever song of the day in the 2023-2024 school year, and which teacher did it? And speaking of, we have our very own Tammy from the front office singing Umbrella for our song of the week.
Well, I think that's all of our announcements for you today. And we'll be back Monday with more news and announcements. And until then, go Cougars!